Hi traders, short recap of my trading session today. Take a look at Netflix, huge upside move yesterday, mainly because of the gap. The, the gap acts like a vacuum. It draws in the price because there's no resistance within gaps. Now, the stock made a huge upside move, which suggests it's going to continue today. We call it a momentum trade. So it had a big upside move yesterday. Therefore, you expect it today to continue moving higher because of the momentum. Now I'm going to move to an intraday uh, chart. And now I can also find that it has a nice technical intraday formation. Now, when everything comes in together, like the daily and the intraday, then everything clicks in and you know that a lot of people will see it and buy it. So I'm about to go long over 430 here, which is a beautiful technical formation. Right now it crossed that line and I have bought 2000 shares. Now, at this point, I'm a little bit worried. I'm not sure about market direction, but I have decided that I'm going to add if it moves a bit higher, which is around this area here where I want to see it moving over the recent high and it just did. And I'm about to add another 1000 shares. And again, it just spiked up. I missed it, but now I added another 1000 shares. So I'm long 3000 shares. I'm adding to a winner. Always remember, you never add to losers. You may add to a winner. Now I'm going to fast forward uh, Netflix so you see what happened here. You can see that uh, it came down but it has never done anything wrong. I had a big loser here around nine grand but again it hasn't done anything technically wrong. The market just move sideways. I was hoping the market will not continue to break down or anything like that. It moves sideways and then the market decided to move slightly higher. And as you can see here, Netflix is moving higher. Now at this point, I know I was right. It's proving to me that I was right. And I'm about to add now, added another 1000 shares. Once I got to the point where it proved to me that it wants to continue higher, that was the point which I would call the point of no return, the point where it decides to move over the highs. So I just added another 1000 shares again you only add to winners you never add to losers don't add to losers don't average down your losses or whatever look at the beautiful spike over the highs i'm up 17 18 19 20,000 21,000 dollars and it's getting to the point where i would feel it's a little bit extended to the upside 22,000 dollars small pullback and i'm about to take my partial right now covering 3,800 shares, leaving just 200 shares. That was a beautiful upside move. And again, remember, it is a momentum trade. I had the same, actually not the same. I had another trade today in UPS. And as you can see, I'm uh, in green territory now with over $11,000. And I'm about to take my partial because it just pulled back down right now, sold, left 200 shares. UPS was a bit different. It was a gap and go. It started with a big gap up and continued to move higher. So that was a different idea of trade. And um, I'm still open in UPS and I'm still open in Netflix, just 100 shares left here. And as you can see, it did continue to move higher, but it's kind of tired now. So just 100 shares left. Anyway, it was a beautiful momentum trade. It was not a gap and go trade. It's different. So here is the end result. Just over $24,000 actually, including the open trades. I think it's over $26,000. Two green trades, which I added to. Now, when you choose a trade that is going your way, you keep adding. When you have a loser, of course, you do not add, like what happened in Disca and MRNA. So with both of them, I had relatively small losers. You have a loser, you move out of the trade. You have a winner, you add to the trade. I added to UPS. I also added to Netflix, I added more to Netflix. And uh, the end result was great in both. And I'm still open and still riding. Therefore, you always add to your winners and never add to your losers. If you like this video, I will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. It will really help my channel and uh, I appreciate your help and it helps more people like you enjoy day trading videos. You can also subscribe to this channel right over here. And please remember that trading in securities is extremely hard. And whatever you're seeing here is definitely not representing a uh, not representing the majority of the traders results where sadly most of the traders lose money. My performance is very untypical. And um, I do suggest that uh, before you trade and risk your own money, please trade a demo account. Please don't lose more money than you can afford to lose. So just trade a demo account until you feel like you feel 
good enough to move to a real account. Be extremely careful. It is not as easy as it may look. Thank you very much for following. There's plenty of links right here below. If you want to join my trading room for a free 14 day trial, it's right here below and many more. You can join our challenge, which is a great challenge. Links here, right here. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow.